Hello friends and welcome to another lecture on chemical engineering thermodynamics. Today we'll take up a question from chemical engineering thermodynamics 2 paper. This question had come in Mumbai University in the year December 18. The question is 2A. The question is the excess free energy of a liquid system is given by G by RT is equal to minus 3 X1 X2 0.4 X1 plus 0.5 x2 find an expression for ln gamma 1 and gamma 2 now most of you must be wondering that why do we learn these kind of equations or why are we asked to do this in chemical engineering ther thermodynamics now remember one thing that this particular equation i want to tell you is a model of a non ideal liquid mixture now this helps us in solving many problems or rather modeling the vapor liquid equilibrium of non ideal mixtures so in many reference texts even if you look in peris the mixture excess gibbs free energy is written down and one needs to derive the ln gamma 1 and gamma 2 from that and work on it okay so this is one way of expressing the information now the expression for ln gamma 1 and gamma 2 would be given by dou n now what is n n is the total number of moles of the mixture dou n g e by r t by dou n 1 holding n 2 constant now this is for a binary system in a binary system what do we have is n 1 plus n 2 is equal to n we have only two components that is 1 and 2. So, this particular differential of excess Gibbs free energy or the total excess Gibbs free energy is with respect to component 1 holding component 2 constant. And this gives us ln gamma 1. Similarly, differentiating the total Gibbs free energy with respect to component 2 by holding component 1 gives you the ln gamma 1. The expression for excess Gibbs free energy is given in X1 and X2. Now, most of the students do a mistake by differentiating this directly. It is wrong. Do it as shown. The first thing that you need to do is write X1 and X2 in terms of N1 and N2. Okay. So, writing this in terms of N1 and N2 gives you this expression where you get n cube in the denominator. Now from this n cube, take a n to the LHS and write ng by RT. Remember, we want to differentiate nge by RT. So it is a good thing to take n from here and transfer it off here. After that, once you have got this expression, now differentiate this expression with respect to n1. Now, if you differentiate this equation with respect to n1, you automatically holding n2 constant, you automatically again get ln gamma 1. Now, I have differentiated it and written it down here. After you differentiate it, you have to simplify it off. So, I can always take this n4 over this expression and over this expression separately. And afterwards, writing n1 by n as x1 and n2 by n as x2, we get the following expression. Now, simplifying this expression and always using x1 plus x2 is equal to 1. Okay, wherever you get an opportunity, use this equation. x1 plus x2 is equal to 1, right? And simplifying this entire expression, you get this expression finally, right? Now, one should do the similar thing that is differentiate this expression or rather this expression with respect to N2 to get ln gamma 2. So, we get the expression and we simplify it and we get the expression for ln gamma 2. 
Okay. So, as you can see here, we have the expression for ln gamma 1 and ln gamma 2. Now, what would be the best test to check whether your expression is right or wrong? It's simple. GE by RT should be equal to summation of Xi into ln gamma i, which in this case is going to be x1 ln gamma 1 plus x2 ln gamma 2. So, I leave that to you. Do solve it out and put it in the comments that whether you have got the RHS equal to the LHS. I am sure you will get it. In case you don't get it, let me know. And in case you have any difficulty in the simplification, do let me know. Now, again, I will scroll th through this video very slowly. So that you can know each and every step. The expression in each and every step. And you can stop it and check. Before, my suggestion always is before you go, practice a lot of times. This derivation is very confusing at times. One more advice I would like to give you that when you get an expression of this kind, always use the rule V du plus minus u dv upon v square and for the differentiation. This makes things much simpler. Now, I do know that one can always write this as minus 1 upon v square u du plus 1 upon v d u. Okay, uh, I made a slight error here. I should write this as d v. But writing this and differentiating it in this way leads to a lot of confusion and a lot of mistakes. But using this for differentiation, this expression for differentiation, mind you, both are the same. But using the, this expression for the differentiation eases the simplification for the problem. So this is my advice to all of the students. Use this formula and then go in for the simplification and you will definitely get your answers okay so that was all about how to solve this problem on excess gibbs free energy hope you have learned something from this but in case you want a very detailed explanation of how i have done the simplification then do let me know i will make a video on the detailed uh, working on the simplification and teach you what are the steps that were involved in the simplification. Okay. But then I should at least receive sufficient amount of requests and comments for making such a video. Otherwise, what's the point in really doing it? Right. And also at the end of the lecture, I once again request you that please subscribe my channel. This is very important to me. This is an effort being done for the students. I am Professor Arvind Prasad. I have 20 years of experience in teaching chemical engineering thermodynamics. I am an ex scientist of Baba Atomic Research Center. So, I really love this subject and I would really like to share the importance of this subject with most of the chemical engineers. So, once again, keep me motivated subscribe me my current subscription is somewhere around 632 i should be touching thousand subscriptions to make this project a viable one 
and for this i am looking for your support do share my lectures and to whomsoever you have shared ask them to subscribe it okay friends goodbye have a great day